look the way it moves. Just keep looking the way it moves and enjoy slowly. the deep within you from your stomach as you do this and focus there still keep looking at all the red clouds you see while you breathe and focusing on your stomach as well try to pinpoint one of those images maybe it's one of those eggs egg-like shapes little ones and balls or an orb going around a cloud pick one and see if you can Hold tight onto it. Slowly. Do it gentle. Gentle. And calm. As you do it, slow your breath. Take a deep breath. Release. A deep breath. Release. One more time. Release. And relax and stay in a calm mood. You need to enjoy this moment. Enjoy what you see. How you feel within you. Feel good within and calm and peace. Gentle with yourself. Love yourself. Do it. Do it, Britain. Love you. Love you deeply. Love who you are right now. Right now, not tomorrow, not in future. Now. Do it. Feel love from inside, brethren. Feel peace from where you are right now. No one is obstructing you. Feel peace from within. Take a deep breath as you do that. Feel your stomach. And be gentle with that song. Feel peaceful. to thank God for this moment thank you within your heart you have you don't have to say it with your mouth you don't have to shout it out you just feel that you want to thank it feel it deeply within you feel that you want to love him for creating you Feel that within you. Feel that he loves you and you want to give it back. Feel that you are God who created you. Who gave you this life. The air you breathe. The clouds you see, the clouds over you. The sun that shines on you. The rain that falls. The heat. The cold. The weather, the climate, the food, the trees, the animals, the birds, the plants, the humans, the things that he has surrounded you with. Thank him for that before you ask for anything. 
do it from the bottom of your heart. Thank the creator of everything there is around you that you have fun with. Begin by thanking him for that bread. When you do that, things change. Brethren, do it. Thank God for your life. It's a blessing upon your life when you thank Him for who you are. It doesn't matter how you are. It doesn't matter how you see yourself. It really doesn't matter. Thank Him for being you. Before he created you, he has thought about it. He has thought about it, brethren. Thought about you. Thought about the things you would need in your life. Thought about your well-being. He said that he knew you before he wove you and put you in your mother's womb. And he knows the thoughts that he had against you. And that they are the thoughts of peace. Assume it. Accept it. He said they are the thoughts of love. Assume it. Accept it. He said, and Expected end. Take it. Take advantage of it. Don't let it pass you by, brethren. He sees his thoughts he has for you are the thoughts of peace. The thoughts of love. The thoughts of joy. An end that is expected. An end that is not going to be a surprise. That you will grow. Oh. You will live a life. That will make you happy. Joy. Peace. Love. Kind. Feeling secure feeling protected, having family around you, having the blessings of the Almighty surrounding you. He said he's going to give that to you. Assume it. The way to assume it is to first of all love it. Love your son. Believe in yourself. Trust yourself. So that the one who created you will feel good. That, yes, my creation loves this. My creation loves what I have created. Do you understand what I'm trying to bring to you? If you want your creator to do something new in your life today, first love you. When you love you, you are telling him that I love us. I love who I am. And when I'm talking of love, I don't mean kind of love. I don't mean loving yourself in a selfish way. Because you go buy a dress and put on. You go buy shoes. You go eat food. That's not what I mean. I mean, feel peace within you that the God who created you is protecting you. That's loving yourself. When you don't trust yourself, you feel scared. Most of you are traumatized. You don't love yourself. Most of you are angry. You don't love yourself. Most of you are scared. You don't love yourself. Most of you who are fearful, you don't love yourself. 
to love yourself means you surrender to the Almighty, the one who created you, and said, I know you care. I know you are incredible. The way you created me, it, it marvels me. It makes me a fearful being. And for that reason, I don't have any reason to be scared of anything because I know you are there. It makes sense. And when you say that from the bottom of your heart, the creator who created you, even if you don't know him, when you deeply believe that if he can create you, he can take charge. You've given him an assignment, a big one. If you didn't hear me, love yourself so that you please your creator. And when you please your creator, what else do you want? Everything you ask is going to come. Now is the moment, brethren. As you're closing your eyes, as you're asking, as you're loving yourself, as you're feeling peaceful within, as you're sinking deep inside of you, sink like a rock dropped in the bosom, in the bottom of your belly. Feel it. Give up yourself to the one that created you right now. Do it. Do it. Feel love. Love yourself first. Love you. Love you. Love you. Quick. Quick, hurry. Feel that the God who created you didn't make a mistake and thank him for that. And that whatever thing that is happening in your life is the friction of life and that it can be fixed. And that probably is because you did not understand that you needed to love him more and more and appreciate what he has already given you that's why the rest is shifting away from you and that the love you will project will attract what he had already installed for you that's why this prayer is important and that's why you need to love yourself and that's why you need to feel peaceful from inside that's why you need to feel love from within if you want to be loved from without let it begin within do it Feel gentle. Slow your breath. Feel happy. Feel peaceful. Feel relieved of your burden. Feel that now you can visit your God. Feel that you think the right moment has come for you to have a communication with the one who created you. Feel that he is listening to your prayers and is waiting now to hear from you what you have to say or to get a petition. Feel that he loves. Feel. Believe in it. And believe in it very deeply because it's real. If he didn't love, you would not be alive. Man. You would not be breathing that air you are breathing now because he owns it. Those two things, your life, and the air you breathe tells you that the God who has you who created you by you. Thank you. Do. Fast. Let's go to prayers. Don't waste my time here. Love yourself. Thank you, God, for it. Thank you. Feel good about it. Feel good. Feel good. Feel good about yourself right now. Feel that something is about to happen. And feel deeply about it. Feel that something powerful is going to happen tonight. And believe deeply about it. And prepare yourself to receive yours. Something good is going to be happening in your life now.
wherever you are. Feel good. Feel blessed for your life. Feel honored by the one who created you. Feel love, brethren. Feel that something is going to change your life tonight. Feel it deeply within you right now. Feel that those mountains you have in your life, those problems you have that are plaguing you, those wicked things that are just tormenting your life and you don't know where to go, what to do, you don't have solution. Tonight is your night if you believe. Do it! The devil has no chance to fight. So you take advantage. Sit. Prepare yourself. Focus. Concentrate. And be willing. Something extra up Let your God speak to you. Yours, not mine. I invoke him into your life and he's going to speak to you in a special way. And Father, I pray tonight. I lift all these people before your throne. All the animals and all the birds and the trees and the plants and everything there is. That Lord, you created for us. I pray for tonight. I commit this night into your hands, oh God. Let something extraordinary happen tonight. Not by might, not by power, but by your mighty hand. I pray for tonight, let your anointing be upon my life and upon this place and anyone, oh Lord, you are using tonight to fulfill your mission. I pray for the lives and each and every one of us. I bring them before your throne and my son. Speak to us in a special way. Embellish us with your power and your anointing and your power, your authority. Let this night be a special night to me and the rest of the people. Father, I pray for tonight. That you speak, oh God, to your people in a special way. I pray, Lord, let your spirit be in this place. Let your glory be in this place. I commit everyone into your hands, oh God. That Lord, you touch them in a special way. I lift every spirit, everyone listening to me. Let your anointing be upon their lives. That Lord, you speak to them in a special way. Awaken their consciousness. I pray that Lord, they get to know themselves. That as I speak, let them see your anointing in the world. And let the world be transformed and pierced in their hearts and break asunder the stillness that is causing pain that is causing suffering that is causing woes that is causing confusion father i pray committing every soul that lord will be touched by this presence i bring them before your throne of god and i ask that lord tonight do a special thing in your life
I pray for your spirit, O oh God, to touch every soul that the Lord will watch tonight. And anyone who will watch this video or this program along the line, I pray that let there be a command. I pray that let there be an energy that will flow up on every life that sees this. And Almighty God, let there be a transformation in their lives and that they will never be the same again. Let your spirit abide by what is going to happen tonight. Let it bring healing in the lives of your people. Let it bring power and authority upon their lives. Let it bring freedom. Let it bring liberation. Let it bring the peace they want. Let it bring the joy they want. Let it bring, oh God, wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who you are. And Almighty God, let it bring the best the world has to offer mankind. Let love flow in it. Let joy flow in it. Let peace flow in it. Let understanding flow in it. And mighty God, let compassion cover it all. I pray for the people that, Lord, you have chosen for me to speak to and to guide and to protect. I leave them before your throne and I ask that, Lord, bless each and every one of them. Protect them and keep, the, keep me busy taking care of them, oh God. I pray for their lives, I pray for their children, I pray for their brothers, their sisters, their mothers, their fathers, their husbands, their wives. I bring them before your throne and I ask the Lord do something special in their life. So long as Lord, they believe in what I say. So long as they try, Lord, to keep. So long as they try, oh precious Father, to meet with the demands that Lord you desire. I pray for anointing upon their life. I pray for guidance. I pray for protection. I pray for easy life. I pray that you provide to them. Each and one of them, oh God, provide for their children, provide for them, provide for their household, provide to each and every one of them. I pray for those that are homeless, oh God. I bring them before your throne as the Lord. Meet their needs. Give them a place of soul. Show them that, Lord, you are God and that you can bless each and every one of them in mighty name. I pray for my own children. I pray for my family. I pray for my brothers. I pray for my sisters. I pray for my friends. I pray for the immediate ones that surround me. I bring them for your throne of praise and God. <coughs> I pray for the pain they go through because of me. Help them, O oh God, to endure. Help them, O oh Father, to be able to stand the trials and the temptations that come with what is going on. I pray for their lives. I pray for sustenance. Take control over them, O oh precious God. Let your blessing be upon their lives. Give them endurance. I pray for special anointing upon their lives. All my brothers, all my sisters, my family, those that protect my life. I leave them before your throne and I ask for a special anointing. I cover them with the blood of the Lamb. I surround them with the edge of the fire of the Holy Spirit that nothing will touch them. Nothing will touch their hair. I decree a good thing upon their life. I cover them with the power of the Almighty. I bring abundance upon their lives. I pray a prayer of success, a prayer of peace, a prayer of joy, a prayer of harmony, a prayer of stability upon each and every one of them. I pray for those that believe in me, those that follow me because of what I do, those that want to learn from me what is good. Father, I pray for their lives. I leave them before your throne. I pray for anointing. I pray that Lord you bless them. Meet their heart desires, O oh Father. Let them feel blessed. Let them feel anointed for knowing me. Let it be that, Lord, just by the fact that, Lord, they know me, let it be a blessing upon their life. In the days of Abraham, Father, you said, for Abraham, loved 
obeyed, served you, and was faithful to you, faithful all his life to you, you counted that as righteousness. Lord, I pray tonight. I pray for righteousness. Father, give them an opportunity once more to serve you so that you can count it for righteousness, O oh God. I pray for their lives tonight, O oh Lord, help them to serve you in spirit, in truth, in love, and not for money. Help them to see the light. Let breakthroughs begin to flow in their lives. Let anointing begin to flow in their lives. Let understanding begin to flow in their lives. Let love begin to flow in their lives. Father, I pray. That Lord, you take control over the life. I bind you, demons. I bind you, principalities. I bind you, forces of darkness. I rebuke your works in the air, on the land, in the sea, in the forest, in the desert, wherever you're operating in the days and lives of people. I pull down your pillars wherever you're holding them in any family. I destroy your plans and all the fences you will build in the lives of the people. I bring it down, you demons. I free my people I free them from the works of darkness. I dismantle wickedness in their life. I dismantle ignorance in their life. I dismantle frustration in their lives. I scatter the works of darkness, just by spirit, every wicked design, every frustrating spirit. I counsel it upon their life. I pray for the Spirit of God to reign in every home in Mendocino County. Father, I pray for your special anointing where I reside. I pray for your Spirit to reign in this place. Every demon, every principality, every forces of darkness operating in this community, I rebuke you. I challenge your works. I dismantle your works in the air, on the land, in the sea, in the forest, in the desert, under the earth, in the caves, wherever you're holding your meeting. Wherever you are now, you demons, I come against you. I release the fire of the Holy Spirit into your camp. I frustrate your words. I dismantle your things in the life. I rebuke. I rebuke you. I send you into the abyss. You wicked design, you rebellious story. I resist your works in the lives of Americans. I dismantle your works in their lives and liberate the people of this country. I come against you, you demons operating in the lives of the people of this country. You are called the spirit holding Americans down. I bind your spirit. I dislocate your plans. That is putting these people in chains. I cancel your works in their lives. I free Americans from their bondage. I free the people of this country from their grief, you demon. You principalities, you force of darkness. You wicked design. You spirit of terrorism. I cast you out. I bind you. I break loose your chains in the air, on the land, in the sea, in the forest, in the desert. Wherever you are manipulating in the lives of the people, I cancel your works tonight. I free the women under your control, you demon. I free them from their grip, you Jezebel spirit. You lying spirit. You divorce spirit. You spirit of wickedness. I rebuke you. You spirit of argument operating in the lives of people. In the lives of Americans. I destroy your works. You violent spirit. I cancel your works in the lives of people. You gun spirit. I bind you. I destroy your guns. I destroy your bombs. I destroy your bullets. I destroy everything that you are using against the people of this country. I dismantle them. I bring peace upon the people of this land. I bring blessing upon the people of this land. I bring authority upon the people of this land. I bring forgiveness upon the people of this land. I bring consciousness. Father, I pray that Lord you open your eyes to see your love, your joy, your peace. I pray for those that are ignorant. I pray the Lord you touch them in special ways. And that mighty Father, they will never be the same again. 
Father, I pray for their lives. Spare them. Spare the good people of this country, oh God. And destroy those that are causing hurt to Americans. Father, don't let them prosper. Don't let them win. And Father, don't let the evil one win. Father, don't let the devil win in this country. I say no. You devil. No. You will not. I destroy your works in the air. In every occultic zone. I scatter your works in every tunnel. I scatter your works in every, the, the depth of the earth. Wherever you are hiding. You bombs and guns, I destroy you. I cause failure. You wicked spirit, I cause failure. You drones, I cause failure. I dismantle your plan. I free America. I cause freedom to flow in this land. I bring consciousness upon this land. I bring these people before your throne, oh God, oh Lord, don't let the enemy take them. Don't destroy this country. Don't destroy the people, oh God. I pray for liberation upon their lives. I decree a good thing upon this country. I decree blessing upon this country. I decree love upon this country. I decree abundance upon this country. I decree breakthrough upon this country. And I pray that, Lord, any evil thing that is planted upon this country, oh God, I bring it on her feet. I trample upon it. I smash. I destroy it. This country is not only owned by those who call themselves Americans of God. There are strangers here. And those of us, oh God, who have people praying for us in this land, praying for us from our various countries about this country, that Lord, you should protect this country. Listen to the prayers of God. Listen to the prayers of people like mine, my family, and the families of those of us that are here who come from far away praying for the safety of where we belong. Oh God. I pray that Lord their prayers enter you. And use those prayers, O oh precious Father, as a stepping block to America. To come in, O oh God, and rescue us from the hands, from the fangs of the wicked one. I pray for the lives of every of this time. I don't care who that life is. So long as it's human, O oh God, I pray for their life, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Father, in moments like this, give each and every one of us a chance. Give us an opportunity to get out of wickedness, of ignorance, of things that all destroy us so far. Help all of us standing on this soul. Liberate us, O oh God. I pray that you listen to my prayer. And I thank you, Father. Thank you for these people. Thank you for each and every one of them. Thank you for their children. Thank you for their fathers. Thank you for their mothers. Thank you for their husbands. Thank you for their wives. Thank you for those that, Lord, you put around them to help them. I pray for a special anointing upon their lives. I decree a good thing upon them. And that their days be blessed. I thank you because I know you've heard and answered my prayer. Open your eyes, brother. Okay. Open your eyes. Happiness is not purchasable with money. I know that we ought to be happier than the happiest person on earth today. We ought to be healthier than the healthiest person on earth today. And yet, we ought to be smarter than the smartest person on earth today. The gift of happiness is not purchasable with money. The path is through meditation in which you can achieve freedom and get released from the burden of material pursuit. pursuit, pursuit. Practical self-healing from sickness, poverty, negative vibration and suffering. My mission in this life is to confront evil. My job is to point a pervading light. We believe in one misconception and another. Ashina. The needs and wants of man 
are steadily increasing by day. The scourge of daily unrest, the more he has, the more he wants. We are not born into this world to accumulate material wealth. What a waste of precious time and effort. There are better ways to do this, brethren. Practical self-healing from sickness, poverty, negative vibration and suffering is the purpose of this call. Learn how to unlock negative childhood beliefs and curses holding you back from finding joy while living your dreams and vision. Enter into your own consciousness. Meditation saved my life. A ship breaking the horse gave me strength and made my bone strong. Ashin is one of the most effective ways to keep your heart strong. Find peace, love, joy, happiness, abundant life, stability, and everything you ever desire in life. My soul and I has prepared a special package for you.